my sewing friends. Welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. All of my sampler blocks are complete. I have 20 sampler blocks and they'll be listed in a playlist down in the description box. Today I'm putting all of my blocks together and I will be adding a border and pondering the next step. So after adding the border, I'm still not done. So at the end of the video, I'll show you what I'm hoping to do with this quilt after I get the border on. So I found a blue fabric that went pretty well with the other fabrics in my quilt, and I will be cutting four border strips that are 10 inches wide. I started on the sides of my quilt, which are about 60 inches on, on um, the length of the quilt is 60 inches at this point, and the width is 48. So I'm first adding those 10 inch strips to the sides, and then I'll add them to the top and the bottom of my quilt. This is what my quilt looks like right now and I think it's really pretty just the way it is but I did want to add a little bit of applique to the borders of this quilt and I have a car trip coming up a little camping trip we'll be doing some driving and we will be in a campground for a little while so I'm going to try to get the supplies that I need to do a little applique on the borders of this beautiful sampler quilt. Thank you. 
I'm going to do a very simple vine and then I'm going to be adding flowers or leaves. I think I'm just going to kind of um, add them as I go along. I'm not going to make a firm plan on how I'm doing it, but I do want to get my vines cut and I'm using this old Christmas fabric. I going to use the back side of the fabric. This green is the perfect green for my quilt and it was a good size. When I do vines, I like to fold the fabric sort of on a diagonal like this and then I cut through the widest part to get the longest vine that I can. I want my vine to curve and when your fabric is cut on the bias, the vine will curve a lot easier. So I'm cutting one and a half inch strips and I'll be cutting six strips just so I'll have enough. And like I said, I don't have a firm plan how I'm doing this, but I do want a curved vine on all four sides. And then I'll be adding, we'll see how much time I have. I'm just hoping that I at least get these vines appliqued on my quilt top on my border. And when I make a vine, I these, like I said, are one and a half inches. I fold it in thirds, and then I take it to my sewing machine, and I use a large stitch, the largest stitch on my sewing machine, and I baste right down the middle of that fold. Some of my ideas for some of the applique I might do. Here is the fabric that I used in the quilt and I'll cut some leaves and flowers out of that fabric after I get my vine applique on to the border. And of course I brought some threads to go along with my fabrics, some thread that matches the fabrics. And the last thing that I'll be bringing along are some books, some inspiration books. Here's a book by Gwen Marston. Um, another one that she co-wrote and a few pictures that are just inspiration as I do my applique. So I think it'll be kind of a fun adventure. I don't think I'll get very far this week, but it's always fun to begin. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.